back down to Florida. In the Hamptons, right? Or that yeah, was, yeah, I saw you in the Hamptons. And then I went back down to Florida and I was with him until he passed. But I was very sad. We were at dinner. I couldn't eat, right? You wanted to do a picture. I didn't want to do a picture. I was just sad. And I wasn't afraid to show you how sad I was. You don't show, and don't tell me you never get down, but well, don't, don't nod your head like that. I'm sure you've had times where you're just down. I mean, where maybe you just, I don't know if you cry, but that I wish I of, cried. I can't cry can't anymore. Cry? Now. Anymore. Isn't that weird? Anymore. Well, I mean, I think when I was a kid, I cried. Uh, yeah, I haven't cried in like a really long time. Even when you went to Louis Vuitton and they just sold your the last version of your favorite bag, you didn't Honey, cry? they would find the bag for me <laughs> somewhere. Trust me on this. No, like, I mean, like, look, I cried, like, you know, when I was saying goodbye to my mom. Like, that's, yeah, okay. Right. But I don't know. I don't, like, look, do you get, honestly, things I get down with are usually business related. Oh, well, I understand that. I mean, hopefully we go through life and there's only a few tragic events that really get us down. Um, death and divorce, right, get us down. And the other, the other part of life is often business related or, you know, some, you know, bitchy breakup with a friend. <laughs> um, honey, uh, I Which have a bunch of those. we will talk about. We're going there. Oh, God, I have a bunch of those. Um, it's almost like, I listen, I really have a simple view of life i Mm -hmm. say this i've said this on this podcast before it's like you just talked about your father i talked about my mother we're alive now okay so that's category a and category b is we're all gonna die now there's an in-between category we all might get a diagnosis and then have to live 10 years three years two years an actual pain right so if we're not in either of those two categories, like what is the problem today? Well, that's a healthy outlook. So would so you everyone say... thinks like, do I love Louis Vuittons? Yes. Do I need to buy lots of them? Yes. But does any of that matter? No. It's just like we're healthy. So all this nonsense, reality TV and internet trolls, like who cares? So all overall, noise. It's overall, noise. You are a happy person and you are in a good place. Yeah, I mean, I... You make every day count. Kind of. And, like, I work a lot, but, yeah, it's like, I feel, I do feel there is some truth to happiness as a choice. I do feel that. So it's like, you like, let me put it this way. I do wake up every morning exhausted and then you go and you make that first cup of coffee and like after like your third sip of coffee you're like okay okay like i wake up positive excited for the day yeah even when the days are you're like ugh, like there's so much work that is coming here today it's still like okay let's get through this so well right now this isn't work this is like the best part of your day i have no doubt well The best part about this is when I knew this was happening, I was like, I don't have to prepare a single damn thing. (laughs) This is like, it's like when I go on other people's podcasts, it's like, Cheryl, do your podcast. Like, I don't have to do anything. I just have to show up for however long you want me. That's fine. And you had no fear for what I would ask. Not, I'm really an open person. I really am not, not an open person. I just feel, so yeah, so I mean, I don't really get sad. Okay, well, I'm, I'm happy to hear that because I sometimes get sad. Like over what though? Well, I mean, I had a rough year, right? All in one right. year. I lost my father. I got divorced and my dog died. Right. Um, and my dog was my little baby. All right. So, I mean, it was this, this, this was a year of whack-a-mole. So I definitely had a very rough year and was sad and went silent on social media. You know, I just sort of had to regroup. Which is okay. Yeah, no, I mean, look, I've had things like, look, first there was COVID, right? So who the hell wanted that? I wasn't smart in going out to the Hamptons, so I ended up getting trapped in the city. And then by the time you could travel, you're like, well, what's the point now? It's like basically the city's back open. 
you know, then my mom died. It wasn't all in the same right. year, but there was a bunch of years where we were like, oh, give me a break. You know, right. I seem to be going through friends like water these days. So there well, you we're go. Gonna, we're going to talk about okay, that. Okay, let's but talk. I want to I want to go back for a second. Let's do so it. you graduated. You graduated from law school. You are a lawyer. I am. You, you took the despite the LSAT, all there's all the sorts bar. of nonsense on there surfaces online about me. And like, I'm like, yeah, I I mean, I'm also a CPA. I, I know took, this. Right. So, I mean, the thing about people that have things and wealth and degrees, you don't need to brag and talk about them. So, like, when I'm also the type of person, like, if someone challenges something, I mean, I'm answering questions here, like, I'm not going to challenge you back. Like, I don't, this is why, although I would go on Housewives, because I understand what the check could become, I would gladly sign up for reality TV. I don't, and then pay me and I'll do it. I don't do receipts in real life. Like, and I'm not saying you're questioning when someone's like, are you really a lawyer? Well, I don't need to prove that because right. I'm confident. Like, I'm actually a secure person. Did you ever but yes, practice law? Yeah, I went to law school and I graduated and I went into, because I was a CPA in accounting, I graduated and it was like, you know, it was like a tough economy. Right. And it was like, you either have no job offers or you are actually saved, David, because you are a CPA. All the accounting firms, like Arthur Anderson and Deloitte and & Touche and all P- KPMG, P- all those places were like, please come work here. So I'm like, well, this isn't really a question of what I want to do with my life. I'm going to go make money because that's why I went to law school. So I went into all the corp- – I worked. Now, when you don't really like what you do and you work at a big firm, it's just amazing how you can just fake it. And then go work somewhere else and get more money. Now, eventually, this catches up with you, Elise. Right. So I worked at like Arthur Anderson. And I'm dating myself because that doesn't even exist anymore. And then I worked at KPMG, P. Marwick. And then I worked at Deloitte and Touche. Like, these are the major these places. These are major yeah. firms. I had to put a suit on every day. So we're different You're not times. not the stereotypical accountant. I hated every minute of it. And also, no, don't forget, if you go back to the Christopher Street apartment, this was when I was like, hallelujah. So whereas I worked hard my whole life, now I was like, I don't give a fuck about work. So all I wanted to do is go out every single, not get drunk, but go right. wild. I was boy crazy. I wanted to go out. And so work was just there to pay for my lifestyle, and Mm -hmm. I didn't care. So I have to tell you, I was a horrible employee at Arthur Anderson. I was a horrible employee at Pete Mark. I was a horrible employee at Delaney Touche. All of it. Okay. Horrible. And so when did you decide, when did you decide, you know what, I'm done with the corporate world? Well... After eventually getting fired from Deloitte and Touche, because I mean, you, when the thing is when you switch your jobs and you talk a good game, you know, you go up each time. Right. The third one, it was like, I forgot what the money was, but it was like way more money than I want. I was like, oh, so you get all this money and you get this title and you're like, oh, and then you get there. You're like, I have no fucking clue of what I am doing. None. Literally not. So when did you decide to leave? Corporate? So, well, I mean, when Deloitte.